And as we watched all of this unfold, the big question was, why didn't the public know sooner that a baby was missing? Allison Basil took that question straight to the police chief. She picks up our coverage live now at police headquarters in Newport News. What have you learned, Allison? Yes, Nicole, more than six hours after baby Jariah disappeared, the Amber Alert finally went out just before 5 p.m. Now, Chief Drew says issuing an alert is a tedious process and they have to make sure they have accurate information before releasing it to the community. We have pulled every detective that we have in the city to focus on this case. Three month old Jariah Cherry was reported missing around 1022 AM. At 1027, the officers responded to the scene and began an immediate investigation. From there, it was six and a half hours before the Amber Alert went out at 457 PM. So I wish in a perfect world at 1022 we got a call and we can put it out right away, but that's just not the case. State police oversee issuing the alerts, but they need five key things from the investigating police department before that can happen. One, police have to have reasonable belief an abduction occurred. Two, police must believe the child is in danger of serious injury or death. Three, there has to be enough descriptive information of the victim at abduction to issue the alert. Four, the child must be 17 or younger. And five, the child's name and information has to be entered into the National Crime Information System. Chief Drew says they also need to be careful not to ruin any leads. He says they sent criteria for an Amber Alert to state police at 2.11 p.m., but it was sent back for verification. Some of those things uh, that we needed to verify before we went to that information to the state police about the uh, with the Amber Alert that we, we just could not get until we had some of those key points of interviews done. And that is why it, what, there was some delay there. Newport News Police did send a media release about a reported abduction about 30 minutes before that alert went out. It had information and a photo of Jariah. And I want to share with the community that Jariah is safe. Chief Drew says the baby was found at 6.43 p.m. in Chesterfield. I think that the family's all breathing a sigh of relief. Even the chief was emotional, knowing this little baby is coming home. It was good, 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 good news. In Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now certainly is good news. There is still a lot we don't know now, though. Who took baby Jariah? What charges will that person face? 13 News Now has kept you in the loop every step of the way since we broke this story this afternoon. So count on us to keep you updated on air and online as we learn new information.